Welcome back Sapphires. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I filmed while on my way and in Las Vegas. So I hope you enjoy the vlog. So I actually um, filmed this like a year ago from when I'm editing it because I never really wanted to edit it. That's the thing about me. I love to... Um, record videos but not edit so I really need to start getting back in the habit of editing because I'm going to be posting much more vlogs practically every single day this coming summer so you can look forward to that anyways this is our drive to Las Vegas and we stopped by to see some like statues it was really cool and we learned a lot so now we arrived in Las Vegas it was kind of cloudy that day and very cold because it is winter time. Then we got some dessert. We actually went to go get some pho before this, but we got some dessert and my dad was getting some sushi because he didn't feel like having pho. Um, by the way, the dessert was very yummy. I forget the name of the place, but the overall cafe was very cute and look at that drizzle on the cake. The next morning, we got some classic Korean food. It was very yummy. And then here is um, the view as we were driving to our next location. There was Steve Aoki. And I really enjoyed, you know, just taking a drive along the strip. And then we go into this, like, I have no idea where we went. I think it was, like, the tallest building there something like that and then it was basically like almost a skyscraper and you went up really high and it was actually crazy because i mean like look at that it was just super surreal and you would like get like very dizzy even just like being there and looking down like my mom started to get dizzy so she was like i better not look at that but you know, I guess that's what humans look like from up above. And then this is us going outside. It was actually very, very cold this day. It was super windy and it was just freezing. I thought I was going to get like frostbite or something. Okay, I'm being a little bit dramatic, but it was very cold. And that is the gorgeous view of Las Vegas. Then we went back inside because it was too cold because we couldn't tolerate it enough. And then now we're going back down. And then this is me and my mom doing this like VR like roller coaster thing. It was actually really lame and I would never go back because real life roller coasters cannot compare to this one. Like this one is absolute trash. It felt like nothing. And then like the headset... I don't even know where it's been, so it was probably dirty, and I didn't like that. So now this is the view again of us, you know, driving. It was very nice. I took a lot of videos of us driving because it was very gorgeous. And then there's the fake Eiffel Tower, you know. Now is the fake Statue of Liberty, as per usual. And then there's the Castle Hotel. Never stayed there before. But I did stay at the MGM Grand. There it is. It was a really cool hotel, so I definitely recommend staying there if you want to ever go to Las Vegas. Um, so this is the view of us walking. We were going into the Coca-Cola store um, because M&M was way too long and it was absolutely packed. So then we go in and this is what it looks like. Um, it has two stories. And upstairs is where they have all of, like, you know, the cafe drinks and stuff, which we did end up trying again. But, yeah, this is what it looks like. It was really cool, but packed. And then here's us reading all the international, co well, drinks, actually, that they had. And some of them were actually very good, and some were not as good as the others. And then we also got this like really knockoff type nachos. Would not recommend getting those. Those were 
literally a waste of money. So there's that. And then here is us trying everything. Um, it was, some of them were actually really gross, like I said. But, you know, and it was a lot of sugar as well. So I don't recommend if you're going to get it alone unless you like a lot of sugar. So there's that. After we were done with the Coca-Cola store, we end up going up to go to this other place, which was basically like a hotel, but we were just exploring around. So here is me walking up the steps. Um, I gotta admit, Las Vegas is very beautiful at nighttime, but you know, that's just all gonna lead to pollution in the air. So we love that. So here is us going into like this hotel with these doors of some sort. <laughs> and then there is a giant like Christmas tree. As you can see, it was really pretty. It really gave like Europe kind of vibes. So I really liked it. And then here I am recording myself for once. And yeah, this, so there was like a lot of chocolate. We didn't really get anything because there was nothing that we wanted to buy. So yeah, and then here's some sandwiches. It looked really yummy actually, but we didn't eat dinner there. And then we go outside again and here are these beautiful fountains. I loved the colors, absolutely. And I'm just walking. And then we walked to the Hershey's store, which was really cool. We got a few things from there. I don't remember what we got, but we got some things. And then we decided, oh, this is actually the, I don't know which day this was, but we went on a roller coaster and it was the best ro roller coaster I have ever ridden in my life. Like it was top notch. It was so much fun. And then this cute little village on our way out. It was basically like a bunch of restaurants and a casino. I didn't like any of the casinos because it literally smelled like pot everywhere you went. And it was disgusting. I couldn't even breathe. Then we arrive at this restaurant and it was very, very fancy. There was a robot there, which was really cool. And then they bring out our drinks. I got a Shirley Temple. Because you know what's up when you get the Shirley Temple. Loved it. It was absolutely tasty. And then our ordered food came out. It looked absolutely gorgeous. And they started to like sprinkle some cheese. And I accidentally got way too much cheese. Like just look at this. Like they were telling me, like asking me when to stop. And I just let it keep on going. And it was a lot of cheese. It ruined my pasta it did it really did but it's okay it was still really good and then here i am trying it out um the cheese pull was um getting a little messy but anyways it was really good and then we get personally taken over to a sorbet and gelato bar by the chef it was an absolute vip type of moment which was great and it was very one-on-one so for the next few clips, I'm going to be playing the audio instead of my voiceover. What can I give you a try? I want to try the hazelnut. Whatever else you said. I don't, I don't want to hear it. Okay. Right. Thank you. Can I try raspberry and sorbet? Yep. You know the difference in the sorbet and the sorbetto and oh. the gelato. Gelato has dairy in it and sorbetto has no dairy. So this is more of like a... Uh, so it's going to be, like if, if I was going to give you a dinner, a tasting dinner, and you had to have an intermezzo like before your protein, I would give you something like the lemon because it would uh, it would like cleanse your palate, almost like that. Like, see, it's real forward of the fruit, but then it's not as smooth and, as a creamy one, right? Yeah, that's really good. Like. Can I try the chocolate? Yeah, that's what I came over here for. <laughs> I like that in the pistachio. I get my pistachio from Bronte, Sicily, which is... Uh, a little town north, right outside of Mount Edna. Uh, pistachio. Yeah, for that's, me. The best. that's the best. And they hand picked the pistachios every two years, and it's the greenest pistachio in the world. And I get three kilo cans from my friend Antonio. 175 hours for this can like this. I get six at a time. It's 
stiff so it's real. Can I try the chocolate gelato too, please? You know, you can put the, the dirty. Yeah. Thank you, Rick. Thank Sorry. you. Oh, you said chocolate, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your video? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. I, I like it. I like making videos every day. Wow. Oh my god, watch out. Thank wow. you. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. She's, been, she's doing a video. Let me go. All right. All right. Okay. You know. Yeah, that's good taste. That's my taste right there. There you go. That's a good one. Right. So what's going See, on? it's real. And you know who makes all this? My 17-year-old nephew. Anybody else? Yeah. I want to try the lemon. Can I try me yeah, too. That's a, that's a real. It's gonna wake you up like that. Okay. Bam. Let me try. The Okay, here we go. Ready? Alright, thank you so much. Where's everybody from? We're from Los Angeles. Oh, nice. I was just out there thank you. almost two weeks ago for a fight uh, on HBO Outdoors. It was cold. We did an outdoor uh, uh, arena and we fought on, on Showtime Championship Boxing. My, the kid that I help, his name is Cody. He's nine, he was 19 and 0, and he fought a guy that was 18 and 0 from Uzbekistan. He was supposed to win the other guy. We beat the hell out of it. So now we're in the top seven of the world. Wow. Like, is it MMA? Fight? No, no, boxing. I'm going to do boxing, yeah. Wow. Yep. That's yep. amazing. Yeah, we're big, big time. Did you try the lemon, both of you? It was good. It's different, huh? Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. It's like horse booms. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. It looks like a bunny. It looks like a heart. That was one of the best uh, sorbets that I've ever had in my life, so I definitely recommend um, trying it out if you go there. I actually don't remember the name, so I can't tell you guys where it is, but um, yeah, that was he was super nice, super friendly, and I loved the experience overall. I'm going to be posting a part two of this vlog, so if you want to go check it out, you can go check it out right now.